Hi yogis, Emmy here. I have a quick yoga flow for you today. It's a bit of an intermediate practice. It'll get straight to the point since it's a quick one. There won't be much time for meditation or anything. Um, let's come and get started by sitting on our legs. Your knees can be together, your feet together. Let's just inhale the arms up. And exhale, take your right arm down to the mat behind you, and then reach your arm up and lift your hips, finding a nice stretch. Exhale it down, inhale that arm up. Exhale your arm down to the mat behind you, reach your right arm up towards the sky, lifting those hips. And exhale it down, inhale your left arm up. We'll do that again. Exhale your right arm down behind you to the mat. Inhale, lift those hips, reach that arm up. And exhale it down. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale your left arm down to the mat. Reach your right arm up high, pressing those hips up towards the sky. And exhale it down. Now inhale that left arm up. And exhale, cactus your arms, bring them back to a 90 degree angle, pulling your shoulders down, pinching your shoulder blades together behind you. Now take your arms and scoop them up, inhaling up. And exhale, cactus those arms again. Lift that chest, open your heart. Exhale those arms down, inhale them up. And let's cactus those arms. Now take your hands and sort of dive them forward as you arch your spine, creating a hollow in your chest. Slide your hands forward on the mat. Now step your legs back and lift up into a forearm plank. Just hold, feel your muscles work. Now press up into a plank. Check that your hips are not too high. Maybe rock back and forth, shifting your weight forward and back. This is subtle work, but it really works a lot of muscles. Now let's lower down to the mat slowly, releasing our weight to the mat, feeling grounded into the earth. Bring those feet together a little bit. Take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, press up. You might feel your feet separate naturally, and that's great. Just let your body ease into the poses as it wants to. Exhale down. Take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, press back up into Cobra. Shoulders pulling away from your ears. Exhale down. Now let's tuck those toes, press back up into plank. Now shift to downward facing dog. Take a moment to walk your dog by bending one knee and then the other. Warm up those hamstrings, warm up your back, your arms, and just say hello to your mat. Maybe lift up on your toes and exhale your heels down towards the mat. Look at your hands, step high on your toes, step behind your wrist. Now go ahead and let your chest rest on your thighs. Hang and ragdoll for a moment. You can grab opposite elbows and rock back and forth. Or you can interlace your hands behind your back and straighten your arms. That'll press you deeper into the stretch. Really open up those shoulders. All right, exhale your arms down. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. So you reach a standing posture. Inhale your shoulders up, back and down. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, press those hands into the mat. Step back into plank. 
Let's lower through Chaturanga, elbows in tight. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up towards the sky. Step it in between your hands. Now let's lower our back knee to the mat and lower the top of your foot to the mat. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, cactus those arms. Now scoop those arms forward and bring them back up. And cactus. Scoop those arms back up. Bring your hands together at the top this time and find a gentle back bend. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Now let's shift our weight into a half split. Lift those toes off of the mat. Bring your chest towards your knee and shift your weight forward. Shift your weight back into half splits again. Shift your weight forward into a low lunge. Shift your hips back, half splits. Maybe scoot your foot forward and see if you can get closer into the splits. If you have the splits, you are welcome to go all the way down. Go ahead and bring your leg back into a plank any way that feels good. Now shift to downward facing dog. Now lift that left leg up towards the sky. Step it in between the hands. We'll do that on the other side. Lower that back knee down. Lower the top of your foot to the mat. Inhale those arms up. Now exhale, cactus those arms. Now scoop those arms down and forward and up. And cactus. Exhale those arms down, scoop them forward and up. And cactus one more time. Exhale those arms down, forward, up. Bring your hands together at the top. This time find a gentle back bend. Now exhale your hands down towards the mat. Shift your weight back into a half split. Lift those front toes off the mat. Bring your chest towards your knee. Now shift your weight forward into your low lunge. Shift your weight back into a half split. Shift your weight forward to a low lunge. We'll do one more half splits and then you can lean forward as deep as you want into your splits. Shift that weight back and gently slide your left foot forward, stopping at any point as you'd like. Now bring your left hand to the inside of your leg. Kick it back for plank. Come into plank, however feels comfortable. Maybe rock forward and back on your toes again. Shift your weight forward, lower down through chaturanga. All the way down to the mat. Place the tops of your feet on the mat. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, press up into cobra. This time, turn your gaze over your left shoulder. Turn your gaze forward. And turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Turn your gaze forward, lower down to the mat. Tuck those toes, come back into plank. Shift into downward facing dog. Look at your hands, step high in your toes. Step or jump behind your wrists. 
Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to mountain. Exhale, hands down to heart center, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, place your hands on the mat. Step back into plank. Now let's lower into forearm plank. Shift your weight to your right arm, bringing your left arm up towards the sky. You can gently bring your left foot to your right foot and slide it up your leg. If this is too difficult, you're welcome to stay in side plank or you can grab your big toe and try to straighten your leg. Exhale your foot down to the mat into lizard lunge. Now, if you were just in side plank, go ahead and shift your weight back forward into a forearm plank. And then you can bring your left foot up into lizard lunge. Now rock in this posture. You can be high up on your hands or low on your forearms. You can lower your back knee if you would like. Lean into this posture or press into the mat. Take your left arm up and behind you and see if you can grab your foot. Now, if this is too much, just stay in a regular lizard lunge. Exhale to release. Tuck those back toes, lower back to your forearms. Step back into a forearm plank. Now shift your weight to your left arm, bringing your right arm up towards the sky. You can stay here in a side plank, or you can take your right foot, trace it up your left leg. Stay here or grab your big toe and straighten that leg. Exhale, bring it down into lizard bunch. If you stayed in your side plank, bring your forearm back to the mat, and then just step your foot up into lizard lunge. You can press into the mat and rock. Get some synovial fluid moving by moving your hips, opening them. Juicing the joints keeps them healthy. Now stay here or lower down to your forearms. Maybe lower your back knee if you would like. You can stay here, lean into the posture, or you can press away from the mat. Take your right arm up and behind you and see if you can find your left foot. Grab it, turn your gaze over your back shoulder. Exhale, release it. Lift that back foot, step back into plank. Now lower down all the way to the mat again. Let's bring our legs together. We'll bring our arms out into a Y shape. Place your forehead on the mat, take a deep inhale. And on the exhale, lift your arms and lift your legs. Maybe bringing your arms behind you like wings into locust. Exhale, release your left cheek to the mat. Turn your gaze to the right and just melt into the mat for a moment. Bring your legs together, bring your arms back out into a Y. Forehead to the mat. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, lift those arms and lift those legs. Maybe bring your arms back behind you like wings. Find height in this posture. Feel the strength flowing through you. Exhale, lower down, placing your right cheek on the mat. Just melting into the mat. Take your hands and bring them back under your shoulders. Press back into child's pose. Now slowly come to a sitting posture by arching your spine and rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale your shoulders up, back, down. 
Thank you for practicing with me today.